<laughs> and we welcome you back. Guess where we are? <laughs> you got to like that. We're at the Stratosphere uh, Casino Hotel and Towers. Roller coaster up on top, as you saw earlier, and we come now uh, to a feature attraction. Layla McCarter against Claudia Valenciana, and a lot of people around here, my partner Rich Murata included, think this may be the fight of the evening. We're at the Stratosphere Casino, as we said. Let's take a look at the numbers in this fight, see how these two uh, match up with one another. Valenciana less experienced, uh, but undefeated. Four fights, a couple of knockouts. McCarter's been around the track a little bit. Former champion, she gives away three inches and gives away four pounds as well to uh, Valenciana. And uh, five years the junior, despite the experience factor, the edge to McCarter. So it should be a competitive fight. We go once more to Amy Hayes. Amy? Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of action is scheduled for six rounds in the ladies' junior welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 143 and a half pounds. She is undefeated with four victories under her belt two knockouts from Ventura, California, Claudia Valenciana. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing all black, weighing in at 139 and a half pounds with a record of 14 wins, nine losses, four draws, two knockouts. She's from Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. The amazing Layla McCarter. And your referee, Tony Weeks. Okay, you both can see we're in the in your dressing room. Okay, anything right here is gonna be good, anything that's gonna be low. Right here is good, this is low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, above all, protect yourselves at all times. Ready? Let's go. And with that, we are set to go. Here is uh, Layla McCarter. Clear experience edge to McCarter. And Valenciana started a boxing career actually back in 2001, had only one fight, then fought again a year later, and then did fight for another 14 months after that. She has had a couple of fights this year. This could be a very good fight here, Barry. Layla McCarter's been in against a number of really good women fighters. She holds three victories over Tracy Bird, the uh, sister of uh, Chris Bird, and Tracy is a fine uh, boxer herself. And uh, she's very quick, Layla McCarter. She's fluid in the ring. She looks like an athlete when she's in there. On the other hand, Valenciana, who only has four fights, has displayed a real punch in her four fights. She has scored two knockouts, has uh, scored a knockdown in one of the fights that went to a decision, and cut her opponent badly in the other fight. So she has shown that, her, that she has the ability to punch. This could be pretty good. Six rounds, which would be the longest distance that uh, Valenciana has gone. But on the other hand, Layla McCarter, remember, has gone 10 rounds on a number of occasions. Exactly. We need right hand there. Valenciana, as we expected, coming forward and trying to get to her with her punch. She's a big puncher. You see she's kind of stockily built. She looks powerful in there. Uh -huh. And Layla is, uh, uh, as we said, fluid. She gets around that ring, can use her legs, and is quick-handed. Won three fights in a row. The two that you mentioned against Tracy Bird. And then beat Lisa Lewis, and down goes Valenciana. Valenciana getting a taste Six, of the experience of seven, Layla McCarter. Hey, come here. Doesn't look okay, badly hurt to me, but hey, it was ready? a clean knockdown. And Layla McCarter not really known as a knockout no, puncher. No, not at all. But as you said, that was a good clean punch. Stop, stop, stop. Let him go. It's like Layla saying to a girl with four bouts, welcome to my world, honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is serious here. Good body shot from Layla McCarter. And again, triple left hand by McCarter. That one hurt, right? There's more than a knockdown, Barry. Very <laughs> good round oh, watch it, watch it. for Layla McCarter. We all want to help the people we care about. Through millions of transfers worldwide, Western Union can help two brothers stay united with each other and with their dreams. Western Union. In person, by phone, by internet. Uniting people with possibilities. The Thompsons love to change that wall in the living room. They change it and change it. Then Gateway introduced them to the 42-inch plasma TV for under $3,000 with no payments and no interest for a whole year. Once again, they get to change that wall in the living room and change it 
and change it. Call 1-800-GATEWAY, click, come in, and start enjoying the comforts of Gateway. Gather up the family for Denny's Barbecue Days. Taste our St. Louis-style ribs covered in rich barbecue sauce. Or for $6.99, try our Barbecue Chicken Deluxe, one of four great new meals. It's Barbecue Days at Denny's, a good place to sit and eat. You take a look at that left hook by Layla McCarter. A perfectly thrown left hook. Beautiful timing. Ducks in and a mistake made there. You saw the right hand drop by Valenciana. Showing her inexperience. She let her right hand go down almost to her waist. McCarter started that left hook up. Made it count. I thought it was interesting when Claudia Valenciano went back into her corner. The first thing she said was she can fight. And she found out firsthand. And I think your point is very well taken that the three punch or maybe four punch combination at the end of the first round by Leila McCarter, I think really had more effect on Valenciana than the knockdown punch. So now Valenciana is gonna have to shore up her defense a little, Barry, and she's gonna have to land something on McCarter to make McCarter respect her. McCarter having an easy time of it. Still a little reddening along the right side of the uh, face of Layla McCarter. She's very calm, very relaxed in there, this Layla. You know, she's a real pro. She looks like she's looking to counter right now. You know, she comes from a martial arts background. Well, she started martial arts training at the age of eight. And for the next nine years, she studied, uh, studied uh, Taekwondo and Kung Fu Judo and Ninjutsu and Muay Thai uh, kickboxing. So she had that whole uh, martial arts training. And now she's a, an established professional, Barry. I mean, she's got 27 pro fights. And in the world of women's boxing, that's like, you know, uh, having 100 pro fights in, in, in men's boxing. Absolutely. And just a moment ago, while you were talking, about she, we were talking about her waiting to uh, counter. And uh, she did just miss with the right hand as she got Valenciana kind of leaning in, just trying to throw punches and being unprotected. Still to come, of course, our main event. It is uh, for the Intercontinental America's Junior Middleweight Championship. Julio, the Cuban lover, Garcia, Chantel Stanza. That's still down the road. Good combination from Valenciana body, but the hit punch missed. But she got there with the body. She seemed a little buried to me at the start of this round, a little wary about walking straight in the way she was in the last round. She was looking to utilize that power of hers. Now you're right. She's not just uh, coming to McCarter. Not a bad idea. Good upper. There's something new and exciting at Subway. The new Chipotle Southwest Steak and Cheese. Slice steak, melted cheese, and our new Chipotle sauce for an added spicy kick. Served hot on fresh baked gourmet bread. It's a taste you've got to try. Subway, eat fresh! Getting close to lunchtime. Any ideas? Subway's got something delicious. Like the new Chipotle Southwest Steak and Cheese. It's got a spicy kick. Ooh. Excellent work, my friend. Subway, eat fresh! Welcome back. Layla McCarter waiting to do battle with Claudia Valenciana. Valenciana got there right at the end of that last round with a pretty good uppercut. This is round three of a six-round fight. To show you the level of fighters that Layla McCarter has lost to, Barry, among her defeats uh, were defeats to Laura Serrano, who's a Very magnificent good. female fighter, and uh, also Chevelle Hallback, who's a terrific fighter, who we saw and carried a fight of hers against Laura Serrano on our air. That That's really right. was a, a very war. great fight. Now it's McCarter who is coming to Valenciana. But Valenciana did better in that round after she seemed to be nervous to me the first 45 seconds of the round, but then started to get back into it once again. 
You know, she landed a very good combination to the body early in the round, and body punching is something that is visibly absent from a lot of the uh, women fighters' arsenal. And, you know, if she can develop that, if she uses it here tonight, you know, and, and develop it along the way, she is going to, you know, reap the benefits of that because not too many women use it. And body attack, whether you're man or woman, is going to, it will help you. Slapping right hand by McCarter. Good combination by McCarter. Backs Valenciana off. And McCarter unleashes another right hand and another right hand. And a left right to the bottom. Humphrey, Humphrey. Valenciana is brave. She's fighting back. She's not holding nor backing away. She may not know what to do when she's hurt. This is probably a first for her. Best fighter on her ledger that she's beaten. We've seen her before. A woman with a strong punch herself, Mikey Stafford. Yep. Still to come, of course, our main event for the IBA. Intercontinental America's champion, the junior middleweight championship, Julio Garcia and Chantel Stancil. And right now, uh, I believe uh, the champ, Sean O'Grady, is back uh, in Chantel Stancil's locker room. Sean? Thanks, guys. I am in Chantel's locker room, and no stress here. Look how relaxed and calm Chantel Stancil is. He is not worried about anything. You know, sometimes these kind of fights, last minute notice like that, you don't have time to get worried about your opponent. You go in, you relax, you have fun, you enjoy the fight, and you pick your opponent apart. So many times that comes into play. I don't know if that'll, if that'll come into play tonight. Julio is a terrific fighter and uh, Chantel knows it. Chantel is going to try to put it all together tonight. He is real relaxed, trying to relax his opponent, guys. Yeah, and that's the way he was today too, Rich, when we visited with him. Uh, he, he has the demeanor of a fighter who really, really believes that he can win the fight. Yeah, he was not what I would call full of jokes. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and hilarious demeanor does not seem to belong uh, but to But a lot of times when we talk to the fighters, you can see that bravado and you say to your son, well, you and I have walked out of those meetings and said, no chance. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't say that with this guy. Right. Well, I'm enjoying this fight between these uh, two women fighters, fine fi fighters, Layla McCarter, Claudia Valenciana. Valenciana outgunned in terms of experience and probably in terms of an overall uh, arsenal. And she ran right into that left. And I, I think the difference in this fight right now is experience. I think that's exactly right. You can see Valenciana, she really squares up in front of her opponent when she throws her punches. That's a uh, witch's scorecard that shows McCarter in front by two points. And so she's susceptible to be countered. That can give you a lot of angles. And she also throws a lot of her punches outside in, not a lot of straight punches. All three of the fights that she had with Tracy Bird were all very close. One was a split decision, one was a majority decision, one was a unanimous decision, and ironically, it was that 10-round unanimous decision in the first fight that probably was the most hotly disputed. This is round four, scheduled for six. Remember, two-minute rounds in women's boxing. Layla McCarter just pot shouting right now. Good left hand by McCarter. She just she just waits for little mistakes and she'll take chances uh, as well, especially with that right hand lead. Is uh, McCarter. Coming to the end of round number four, and again, a very effective round for Layla McCarter. Comcast Sportsnet of Michelin has brought you to relive the 80s. Catch the excitement as the Philly starter of the weekend salute to the 1980 world champions. One lucky winner will receive four tickets in the Comcast Sportsnet luxury box for the Phillies Red Sox game on Friday, June 20th, plus a retro baseball jersey. Five first prize winners will each receive a pair of tickets to the game. To enter, log on to ComcastSportsNet.com or send in a postcard to the address on the screen. Good luck from the Phillies, Mitchell and S, and Comcast Sportsnet. Whether you like to look into the past with history from the vet or the future with a new Phillies lineup, catch Phillies Clubhouse, presented by New Wave Wireless. Monday night at 7 on the network that is the home for the Phillies, Comcast Sportsnet. 
Heading to the vet on Friday to see the Phillies? Wear your favorite 80s attire, and you could be walking home with a retro jersey courtesy of Mitchell and Ness. Look for the Comcast Sportsnet booth outside the gates before the game for your chance at great prizes. Introducing 54321, the only show that takes you inside the extreme sports world every weeknight. BMX rider Kip Williamson, free surfer Chad Towersy, and Leanne Tweeden, the experts who bring you the entire world of extreme sports, all in one place with breaking news, event highlights, and insider features. We'll see if I can beat the music here. You won't get it anywhere else. Weeknights, 530, late night, only on Fox Sports Net. All right, good job, Barry. <laughs> And a good job by these two women fighters. Mixing it up real good here. Both of them landing the shots. McCarter's the more precise, though, during the course of the round. Seemed once again to just disturb uh, her opponent. And again with a left hook knocks her down. Al almost identical. Three, and she, this four, time her legs are uh, five, betraying her a little six, bit. Seven, eight, come to me, come to me. Come to me, you want to continue? Yep. You all right? Okay, I'm give you a chance. Well, you can hear that clearly, that she wants to continue on. And uh, Valenciana now facing the first adversity of her career. Right. Seeing, we're seeing how she reacts to it. She's brave enough. But Carter's just got way too much experience. Yeah, that, uh, you said it earlier. That's the difference in the fight. It's not overpowering punches from a Carter, but good, sharp, straight punches are the two that put Valenciana down. There's Valenciana getting there with a pretty good right hand, but McCarter getting about three to one. Yeah, the cleaner punches from Layla. Valenciana, I, I do believe, is the harder hitter, Barry. She's the more heavier handed, and she'll probably you know, knock out a lot of opponents on the way, but you know, she just needs to pick up the experience. Tonight, she's just being outclassed by a woman who has more in her repertoire. Yeah, overmatched, I think. But she's got some skills, Valenciana, as you said. Strong. See, but she does things like that. That's very just an amateur's move. McCarter was halfway across the ring for her, and she's starting to throw a right hand at her. And, and, and I think really more than anything else, what she needs to do is give a few more angles. She really does, especially when she throws a punch in relatively close quarters, like right there. She's square in front of her opponent. that backs Valenciana up, and again, McCarter trying to finish the job here. And she's got Valenciana holding on right now. Valenciana bloodied as well. Let's see what happens in the corner. This is always a bit of drama, of course. Right. The last round, Layla. Come on, good, good, good. <laughs> the last right, round, right hand. better make right, work. Right, right hand. This is the last round, baby. Don't leave it up. Get him out. Get him out. You know this is Carter's corner. You're hearing. Oh, right. This one. Now, and the referee, the referee has gone over into the corner of Claudia Valenciana. He wanted to get a real close look at her. I got it. I got it. And each occasion, a left hook has been the uh, chief punch. Counter left hook once again. Barry said Don't almost identical to the first one. And then near the end of the round, McCarter Let's starting go, to go. bust up Valenciana. Good, quick, short Last right. That little up. six inch job inside was nice. Okay, here we go. Keep it clean. Sixth and final round now. This has been experience against the inexperience. Just that simple, and that's the difference. Valenciana is showing me enough to make me think that she's got a future here, Barry. Hansley, Hansley, and uh, she's Hansley. also showing enough in terms of bravery. And Layla Carter has been all business in there, business-like, and just doing a very good workman-like job. She's a, 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 a fine boxer. She is, yeah, just kind of taking what's there. Knows herself. I mean, she's, she's not, even though she's had two knockdowns, she's not out to whack anybody. Not a fighter who's going to get you out with one punch. Good combination there, left the body, left the head. I, I think Layla knows her own limitations. Exactly. And so even though she has scored knockdowns in two different rounds, clean knockdowns, she hasn't gone in there crazy and, and, and looked for a knockout. She's gone right back into her game plan. like the way she moves in there, though. Nice job. Two or three punch combination. Then she tied Valenciana up. Yeah. 
Layla's been serious about pursuing a boxing career. She moved here to Las Vegas so that she could get the proper training bay. She came here with 200 bucks in her pocket and, uh, and you know, dreams. <laughs> That's about it. I assume she still has the dreams, if not the 200 bucks. Well, it's Vegas. it is Vegas. You can't be sure about That's the 200 true. bucks. That's true. There's another good left hand. Ellen Carter is very sharp, very high percentage of connections. So all four of those punches got there. Valenciano is hurt right now, Barry, and another 30 seconds, she may not have made it. But she showed a lot of courage. She's a gamer, look, at she's a little disappointed going back, and she's going back going, wow, that's what it feels like, huh? Yeah. It's not a good feeling. Uh, she was in there with a the tiger tonight. Good performance, I think, for that lady, Layla McCarter. I don't really believe this decision is much in doubt. She's happy, she should be. Good outing for her against a tough opponent, someone she knew could do some damage if she was allowed to. She never allowed her to. We'll come back. Look, Steph, it's adorable. Hi there. Hi, what kind is it? It's a mix, actually. Hmm. Part charcoal, part gas. Does it do any tricks? Yeah. yeah. Actually, it switches from gas to charcoal in just a few seconds. <clears throat> Listen, Steph and I are having a party tonight. Why don't you stop by? The Charbroil 2-in-1 Charcoal Gas Grill. It's man's new best friend. What a chick magnet! One thing we all share is the desire to help the people we care about accomplish their dreams. Through millions of transfers each year, Western Union offers many possibilities to send money, and for all kinds of reasons, like four years helping a younger brother achieve a dream of his own. Western Union, in person, by phone, by internet. Uniting people with possibilities. Welcome back to the Stratosphere Casino Hotel and Towers. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, it was an action fight, as we anticipated it might be, Rich. Yeah, it was a very good fight. A lot of hard punches thrown, especially that first left hook, putting Claudia Valenciana on her behind. And uh, she tried to bounce back. In the second round, she did, but in the fifth round, again, welcome to that left hook. Almost the exact same punch, Barry. Scored the knockdown again, same result. Lola McCarter just too experienced, too much in her arsenal tonight. And uh, Claudia Valenciano, a lot of uh, courage, I think, but she knows she's lost over there. And look at, I think she knows she's won on the left side. I Layla think that's true. But a lot of potential. <laughs> Sonia's Cafe, we'll be there right after the show. <laughs> Lead time, here's Amy Hayes. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have spoken, and here is their decision. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Chuck Giappa scores it 59 to 53. And judges Bill Graham and Patricia Jarman Manning both score it 60 to 52. All in your favor for the winner by unanimous decision, Layla McCarter. Well, two judges giving, uh, making two of the rounds, 10-8 rounds, the two rounds that knockdowns were scored. Yes, and I think that's proper. Uh, one judge gave the uh, second round to uh, Valenciana, as I did, and uh, ended up with the 59-53 score. So there's your winner, Layla McCarter, runs her record to 15 up, nine down, and she has fought uh, some very tough opponents along the way, so those nine losses, many of them, very forgivable losses. You're gonna see more of her when we come back. You'll see this guy, Chantel Stancil and Julio Garcia. Sunday Night Fights on Fox Sports Net is brought to you by Honda Motorcycles, the company that defines performance in motorcycles, ATVs, personal watercraft, and scooters. And by KFC. There's fast food, then there's KFC. There's only one VTX 1800. The biggest, baddest, most powerful V-twin you can ride. Built from the ground up to be unique with a full line of accessories so you can customize the VTX as extreme as you want to be. And now we'll start you off with $1,000 of Honda Genuine Accessories to turn our VTX into your VTX. Start building the ultimate VTX now at your Honda dealer. 
The man on the left paid eight bucks for a chicken strips meal at a casual dining restaurant. This man paid just four dollars for the KFC crispy strips meal with three all white meat crispy strips, choice of two sides and a biscuit. Eight bucks or four? What should I do with the four bucks? I say. We're here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate new finish, the once a year car polish. Simply wipe it on, wipe it off. No rubbing, no buffing. New Finish restored a deep, hard shine even to this weather-beaten car. We polished this car with New Finish and ran it through 52 car washes. Even after heavy-duty detergents and powerful scrubbing, the water still beads. New Finish. Top-rated New Finish, available at Rite Aid, Pep Boys, Ace, AutoZone, Walgreens, Kmart, and other leading stores. Every day, Western Union provides many possibilities for you to send money. Because we understand that when you're helping a loved one who's just starting out, you're sending more than just money. Western Union. In person, by phone, by internet. Uniting people with possibilities. Coming up next, our main event. Next, it's the attack at the Strat. Defending champion Julio, the Cuban lover, Garcia. Puts his junior middleweight crown on the line. It's box. We box. Let's rock. There's only one. Well, nighttime is set into the Las Vegas Strip, and it's downright positively balmy here. Temperatures have <laughs> dropped from uh, the hundreds down into, uh, I'd say, about the mid-80s, and it's actually quite comfortable as we prepare for our main event of the evening. It is, is a battle for the IBA America's Junior Middleweight Championship, a stepping stone belt to be sure, but an important belt for our two main event fighters. And Julio Garcia, I think, might get a fairly good test tonight. Well, hopefully that'll be the case, because this is a guy who wants to improve, Barry, and that's how you improve, by fighting better opponents. Julio Garcia, I think, is a terrific story. He came to the United States, of course, in search of freedom from Cuba. He got that. Then he added another dream, a dream of being a world champion. And right now he has his eyes firmly on that prize. Julio Garcia captured the IBA America's Junior Middleweight Championship last April in convincing style, using his power to knock down Johnny Rivera in the fifth round, and then ultimately winning the fight a few minutes later with relentless intensity. Garcia could stay a junior middleweight and look for the likes of Oscar, Shane, Fernando, and Winky, or could go back to middleweights, where he might end up against the likes of Bernard Hopkins, or William Joppe, or Robert Allen, or perhaps even Harry Simon. That would be fine with Garcia. I'm still learning. Every fighter is you know, still learning. Even the La Jolla, Ben, you know, 20 years, all those guys. But I feel like I'm in that level. You know, the La Jolla's level and Shane Mosley, you know, Barga, all those guys. I don't feel like I'm still learning from I'm in that level. So people don't know me. I still now people start knowing me. So I need to.